here is the update for the 2015-2016 uh, summer work. Um, this is regarding math. Jen, Julie, Lorna, and myself. Um, we're on the curriculum work team this summer. If you have any questions, contact one of us. Here's a quick preview of what we will be talking about in this video. Uh, first of all, we talked a little bit about the curriculum maps, which includes things like the year at a glance, assessment of standards, OneDrive's overall plan, which is model math curriculum, practice and assessment resources by standard, old unit overviews. We'll also be talking about some DCA changes and modifications. Uh, we'll discuss that there will be no longer a daily planner. Uh, instead, we will have a quarterly newsletter. And then finally, we will have some digital resources by unit and standard. Start by taking a look at the fourth grade curriculum map for math. Um, once you get into the curriculum map, you just want to scroll down to, give me a second, this section right here, which is the fourth grade year at a glance. This is one of the most important things that we will uh, reference um, in fourth grade this year regarding math. Um, it is broken down into the first nine weeks, second nine weeks, third nine weeks, fourth nine weeks, obviously just the quarters. Um, but also within this document here it says um, the strand or the thread in which the things will be assessed in. It also tells what needs to be taught. And then, for example, in some instances it will say, so 4, 4 a 3, assess addition, subtraction, quarter 1, multiplication, division, in quarter 3. So the 4 a 3 strand will be assessed in quarter 1, but only addition and subtraction. And then in quarter 3, it will include all four operations. Um, and then also if we scroll down here, NBT5, we're going to assess up to four digit by one digit in quarter one, and then we'll assess um, the rest in quarter three. Um, there are some other examples in here, so this is a really important document or part of the document to look at when you begin to uh, plan for the year. One thing we worked on as a team this summer um, was to include a practice and assessment resources by standard. Um, little uh, spreadsheet of lots of different resources um, that we can use and they're actually organized by standard. So when you click on the link it takes you to this spreadsheet right here. Uh, this spreadsheet has all the standards down the left hand side as you can see and then it has practice sheets that go with standards post-assessments, self-assessments. Our goal here is uh, to create a library of practice sheets, assessments, all in one place. So feel free to add to this list neatly when you find or come across sources and resources that are helpful and that you use in your classroom. Another useful part of planning your instruction uh, will be this overall plan from OneDrive. This is actually part of the model math curriculum from the Live Binder. Um, once I open this document here, you'll just see kind of how it's laid out and how it works. And this is just a nice tool to help you organize and plan for instruction based on whatever you're teaching. Um, this is based off of the Live Binder, so it's the model math curriculum. And anything that's in bold here has a lesson that goes with it on from LiveBinder or from OneDrive. Some people have access to OneDrive as well. So anything that's bold is just a lesson that goes along with it. Otherwise, they're resources. Many of these resources are also found in our practice sheet and assessment um, spreadsheet that was created. Last thing we want to make note of in these curriculum maps for fourth grade um, are these unit overviews that we included last year. As you can see by the note, we're not going to include a unit overview and updated unit overview this year, but we do want to leave it in there in case people referenced it as a resource last year. So we'll leave it in there for this year. Um, this unit overview included um, this daily planner. So you can still use this daily planner. You just have to pay attention to the standards that are being addressed because they have switched a little bit. For example, the 40A3 standard, we're only assessing addition and subtraction multi-step word problems in, in quarter one. We're not assessing the multiplication and division uh, multi-step word problems in quarter one. Those will be assessed in quarter three. So just kind of pay attention to what these skills actually are. Um, and then you can still use this as a guide. However, it has not been updated. There were some changes and modifications to the DCAs this year in math. Uh, all DCAs in math will be between 30 and 40 questions. 
Uh, we also pushed back when some skills would be assessed. We'll still teach them earlier in the year, but for example, two digit by two digit multiplication has been pushed back into quarter three. That's when it'll be assessed. Um, also, division, some division skills will be pushed back into quarter three. There's other examples from quarter two and quarter three that are being pushed back as well, but that's just one example of uh, how we modified these assessments. Another way we modified these assessments this year is by getting rid of some of those questions that posed a lot of problems from last year. So questions that were formatted incorrectly, uh, that we thought were too difficult or confusing, um, so on and so forth. One of the last two additions to our curriculum map that we have included this year um, is the fourth grade newsletter. Uh, when you click on this link, it takes you to all quarters, all quarters of the newsletters. And these newsletters just sum up what is being taught in each quarter. Uh, you could send these home to parents. You could reference them for progress reports, so on and so forth. Um, so it's just kind of a checklist of things that are done. It's got some examples, frequently asked questions, and some actual at-home practice that the kids can work on. So this is a great resource that you will have this year when working. If you want to print this flyer off and send home a paper copy of it, you just need to go to File, Download As, PDF. It will give you this as a reference right here, and then you can print this from uh, the PDF viewer that you have open on your computer. The very last thing that the team would like to share um, is a digital resource list that was created. Um, you can access this list from the um, curriculum map. So if you just click on the resource list, it will open up. And this resource list is just a bunch of digital resources uh, that go with each standard that we felt might be helpful. Some were accumulated at previous times, others were just found and added. Uh, one thing we'd like to note is if you find a good resource, add it to this list. We want everyone to jump in and add it so that we can uh, have kind of one place where we can all brainstorm, collaborate, and add some good digital resources um, and create a good library of digital resources. So that is all from uh, the summer math curriculum team. And uh, have a good school year.